here like we have the mixture of salts like uh, sodium carbonate and uh, sodium bicarbonate so let let us consider that to be the x grams and we need to find that only actually how many x grams we have that only we are going to find so when uh, sodium carbonate and uh, sodium bicarbonate mixture or separately whatever it is when it reacts with an acid like hcl so you know that very well that always from carbonate carbon dioxide gas moves out so with the help and uh, when you evaporate the solution like uh, from hcl uh, cl and here na it will combine to give you nacl so evaporating dryness it gives like 1.4 moles of nacl so these are the given data so given n1 is considered to be the number of moles of na2co3 and n2 is considered to be na uh, number of moles of nahco3 that is sodium bicarbonate now let us assume n1 plus n2 is equal to 1 this is our assumption only you know that n1 it's a mixture total mixture where n1 is the number of moles of na2co3 and this is going to be nahco3 so which is equal to 1 we are considering that because we don't know what is the exact value so therefore we are considering that to be 1 so the next one is 2n1 2n1 plus n2 is equal to 1.4 so for example my if you uh, do the reaction and see with na2co3 two nacl you will be getting that is why it is two na2co3 if you react with hcl you will be getting two nacl so that is why it is two n1 and n2 since here you have only one na so therefore only one nacl will be formed so two n1 plus n2 is equal to 1.4 why is 1.4 it is nothing but uh, nacl okay so so this is a like required equation which is given and now now we are going to solve this quadratic equation so if i change the symbol here it will be simple for me so just i am just changing here so 2n1 minus n1 is n1 so plus n2 and minus n2 gets cancelled so 1.4 minus 1 is going to be 0.4 so n1 is equal to 0.4 substitute n1 is equal to 0.4 in equation 1 So if I substitute what will happen? 0.4 plus n2 is equal to 1. n2 is equal to 1 minus 0.4, which is nothing but 0.6. So this is the 0.6 is the number of moles of n2 here. So we have the formula that is number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass or molecular mass, whatever it is. So this is the formula which is given. So for Na2CO3, how it will be? For Na2CO3, it is going to be 0.4 into 106. Why 0.4? Now only we found the number of moles of that is Na2CO3 is going to be 0.4. So 0.4 into 106. Why 106? Na2CO3 weight is 106. So 0.4 into 106. Okay, which is nothing but mass. Mass of what? Mass of Na2CO3. And if I consider NaHCO3. If I consider NaHCO3, 0.4 here it is 0.6 into 84. 84 is nothing but weight of NaHCO3 molecular weight. So 0.6 into 84, which is nothing but mass of NaHCO3. This I obtained from this formula only. Number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. Now we are going to find the total mass. So total mass. Is equal to this plus this. That is nothing but 0.4 into 106 plus 0.6 into 84. So this is a calculation, very simple calculation, I believe. So the answer is going to be 92.8 grams. So what is x? X is nothing but 92.8 grams. So therefore, in the following given options, the option two shows this answer. so therefore option 2 is right